Weapons have one standard attack and at least one special attack. Select your target by using the tab key or clicking on it. This is another social room. Um, social PvE room. Players will occasionally come in here and you can take on the board together. Happened to me last time with a guy named Bobby. Or at least the character's named Bobby. I don't know what the hell the guy was named. We were both wearing security uniforms. It was fairly badass. I have a tribble. I have a Borg tribble. There is nothing you can do. Enemies, try using palm strike to give yourself room. You have a personal shield to protect you from harm. No shit. To refill your personal shield's power quickly, look for cover or break combat. That was dizzying. Check those coins. Oh shit! It's going to tell me to crouch anyways. The Borg are making a final push. Head down the ramp and take a position behind the barricade and help us defend engineering. I'll stabilize the warp core. Just help fight the Borg. Maybe that'll help. During combat, you can use aim to do more damage. No. Press C to aim. Press C again to stop aiming. Oh, things are going badly over here. Oh, things are going very badly. Thanks for all your help, Ensign. The Borg are still pushing us here, but now that our internal sensors are back online, we can locate and isolate them. We would have lost the ship to the Borg without you. Unfortunately, the Borg have hit your ship, too. We need to get you back to the Neversail. Fortunately, our transporters are back online. The door to the transporter room is behind me. You may need some assistance on your ship, so I'd like to send one of our officers over with you. There are several specialists in the transporter room who can explain more about bridge officers to you. Thank you again for your help, Ensign. Chief Sherman will transfer you to your ship when you're ready. You're telling me to leave right now? Can't leave. Telling me thank you when a ship has been overrun.
Yeah, there we go. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna stay here forever. I just want to. It's the principle of the thing, you know. I don't want to leave them getting overrun by Borg without them having some defenders here. So. That's right. Oh god, this is rough. I don't want to leave! <laughs> because they're so fucked here! Alright, I suppose now is a good time to go. They look like they can handle that. Have to preserve the timeline and all. I just didn't want to leave them when they were o completely fucking overwhelmed by Borg. I mean, my job is to help these poor Soths, for crap's sake. Your choice of bridge officer is very important. Not Research really. Search your bridge officers carefully before you choose one. It's important, but not right now, because timeline and all that. We have to preserve the timeline. Hello, Locke. I'm the engineering duty officer. Commander Davis said you might need another hand and asked me to explain a bit about engineering officers like myself. We fix things! Science officers analyze stuff. Tactical officers know how to shoot better. Alright. So, let's see. Commander Davis says you're going to need a hand. What kind of officer would you like to assign to you? There's only one that I took both times. That was the engineering officer. So here is Crewman. Your name is not Krem. Your name was Locke. So, there we go. Timeline has been preserved so far. Sounds like they need your help back aboard the USS Neversail. Use the transporter pad to beam back to your ship. I'll also beam the officer you selected aboard to meet you there. Good luck. And, uh, while I'm at it... I have skill points now. So, let's see. 329. I don't really need Starship Command, so let's go with... Tactical Officer. Ground grenades, rifles. Yeah, we'll go there. We're not going to be using this character very long. See you on board, Locke. Mind the Borg. She's one of us. I'm getting status reports from all decks. The Borg attacked while you were helping save the Kittimer, Ensign. We have casualties throughout the ship. Weapons are offline, and... The Borg were... It looks like they deliberately targeted officers, sir. The captain and senior staff are all among the casualties, Ensign. If these reports are correct, you are the highest ranking officer aboard the Never Sail. Crap. That makes you acting captain. Captain, there's a message coming in from one of the hospital ships, sir. It's the USS Seacole. Would you like me to put it on screen? USS Neversail, this is Captain Alcott of the USS Seacole. Good to see you have engines. We are conducting search and rescue operations here, and we could use some help. We're still getting life signs from four other ships, but our transporters are down. Our shuttlecraft are doing their best, but your ship's larger transport capacity could make the rescue efforts go much faster. We'll be waiting for you to bring the survivors to us on the Seacole. 
We're on the side of the asteroid nearest the planet by the green navigation beacon. We can get underway at any time, Captain. Since this is your command, are you familiar with maneuvering the ship? Oh, I was from the very Start beginning. Your ship by increasing the throttle. Increase your throttle by pressing E. Decrease by pressing Q. Okay. That was lock in the beginning, so we're going to preserve the timeline there. I'm going to transport survivors from the USS Kelvin, which is named for the USS Kelvin that was in... And in this uh, time frame, it's a Akira-class ship, and is named for the ship that was seen at the beginning of the new Star Trek movie. It got pasted in about five seconds. This is a Miranda class. This was introduced in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan and has been around ever since. By this time frame, it and the Constitution are maybe 200 years old? 150? Somewhere in there, in that uh, region? Now, there are a couple of things I want to talk about while I'm here, and I'm, so I'm going to go to half velocity while I do this. Uh, you may have noticed I called my ship the Never Sail earlier. This is a reference... Your starship. Oh my god. A, S, and D keys. Yes! I got it, Spock. Uh, this is a reference to Star Trek Starfleet Command and Starfleet Command 2, where the ship you would fly in the tutorial was actually a simulator at Starfleet Academy that was named the USS Never Sail, Registry 0000. And, uh, sort of, I did this before, uh, when I started the game during the Head Start. I named it the Never Sail, and it, just my kind of nod. And, uh, Again, going back to Starfleet Command, when I first started playing this game during the, the open beta... Will focus on your target Jesus, system. Spock! Select the USS Oakland by clicking on it. Press Escape to clear your target. No. <laughs> Damn it, Spock! Anyways, when I started this game, I immediately knew what was going on. I knew what everything was about. I knew how to fly my ship. I knew all about shield facings from Star the Starfleet Command games. You know, by the when I started the space portion of this of this game, I was immediately at home. I knew what was going on. You it, can it also was, steer your ship oh. by holding down both mouse buttons. I know. I was immediately at home. I knew what was going on. It was great. And uh, I don't. I usually steer the ship with the WASD keys, but there are some occasions like the slingshot maneuver in Night of the Comet, which we'll be seeing uh, eventually, uh, where you kind of have to use the mouse to steer the ship because it's a lot smoother and you're able to hit uh, the areas you need to go through way easier. So, uh, let's see what the captain of the sea coal has to say. Ensign, nice work. Battlefield promotions are rough. You have our coordinates. Fly over and transport the survivors directly to our sick bay. We're prepared for their arrival. And that is a Olympic class ship, maybe? 